Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video I'm going to show you how to collect and sow Venus flytrap seeds. So it was two weeks ago when I did my video on how to pollinate the flytraps. So I did it in my bunny bog planter which you can see here. And they've now all stopped flowering and a lot of the seeds are now ready to harvest so a lot of the seed pods are opening. Um, I've already lost a few seeds where they've been old and dried up but um, I'll be showing you today how to collect seeds from them and then I will be sowing them straight away as well to show you how to do that as well. So I'll just get on with that. Okay, so before I get into the harvesting of the seeds I just wanted to show you all the how well this basically has established this bunny bog planter. Um, so the fly traps themselves as the flower stalks are giving or taking less energy from the plant, the PTLs have now started to stand upright and the coloration of them is just incredible now. So these are only just typicals but as you can see around the outside there's like a really nice dark red rim and inside has gone like almost a dark black burgundy which I assume they're going to get a lot darker as well as the year goes on um, but they're producing massive um, nice traps. So these are my oldest ones which are about six, seven years and the same for the one at the back. So there is three in here unfortunately this little one down here has been taken over by the amount of planting in here which I'm gonna have to move about in the winter but again this one has got the same coloration on it which is really nice um, and they've obviously even divided from the rhizome at the bottom so there's loads of babies just down here but the planter itself has just grown and this was only planted in I think July last year so it's about a year old now and the moss is about I'd say a good inch so it's probably the you know the depth of that because um, I didn't even fill up the peat all the way to the top so it's just a massive carpet of moss and obviously we've had some few weeds which I've kind of kept in it just to make it more naturalistic kind of look so this is a nice heather which is growing in here which has got some white flowers coming and obviously I've got capensis a few saracenia have been entangled um, in here which there's two at the back here one at the front here which you can see has also split with a couple in there the baby fly trap there but Overall that is just doing really well, which I thought I'd just quickly show you before I start the um, harvesting of the seeds, which I'll get on with now. So as you can see, um, I've got some seeds just in here. It's quite hard to see. Um, yeah, so it's shiny little black seeds have all started to come out. So a good sign of knowing when they're right ready is when all the outside bits of green start going black like this. So the seeds in here. Um, and then obviously the layer on the top will start to split as obviously it dies off and then the seeds will reveal. There was some in this one right here, however they have all fallen out. I don't think there's three left in there because um, I didn't collect them quick enough. So for this video I am probably going to cut off like the seed pods and collect them like that as they're not all ready. Uh, before I have just cut off the whole flower stalk and kept whatever I wanted but for this video I think I'm just going to cut off the seed pods that are ready to collect from and do it that way. So on this stalk it's slightly better to see so you can see how I've got that three black ones which the seeds are only just starting to emerge which you can see best on this one here. So as all the material has started to come away you can see the seeds in there so I'll probably cut that one off as well. I could just prise it open. You might lose some seeds if you do this, but I've always found there. All right, so as you can see, I've just opened it a bit more and all the seeds are just sitting on top. So I'm just going to get some snips and cut them off. It doesn't necessarily matter if I lose some of the seeds. I'm not kind of fussed about keeping them, but I'm just going to cut them off like that, the ones that are ready. Um, and put them in a box and I'll show you how many comes from each seed pod in a second. Okay so as you can see I have snipped off five pods and obviously they're all black ones so you know they're ready you know to make sure they're, they're suitable is when all the material is black or thereabouts obviously there's still some green in there but you can clearly see the seeds are ready to go 
So I am going to just break this first one open and let them fall into here. So there's probably an easier way of doing this, but I'm just going to place them in this box. So there's quite a few and there's probably some like underneath the creases as well which I'm trying to get out so it's probably also better as well to wait until they're like completely dried off or showing um, to make it easier but they're still going to be as viable as those that I take later on so as you can see you get quite a few seed um, seeds from just one pod so if I try and put some of these on my hand, which I picked a really bad one for doing. Yeah, I picked like one of the greenest ones just to try and empty out. <laughs> so yeah, this is just a few of them. There's still more in that pod. But if you can see, the seeds themselves are very small and they're almost teardrop shape. So these are correct looking Venus flytrap seeds. So and there's a lot of sellers like on Wish, Amazon and eBay which are fake seed sellers um, and they sell things like dragon fruit or some weird crests and stuff like that but this is what you're looking for so if you've purchased Venus flytrap seeds and looking to sow them then this is what they should look like obviously anything else looking or anything bigger than that is not a real Venus flytrap seed so I probably won't break many more of these open there are still seeds in most of these seeds pods because i haven't really broken them up properly but i'm just showing how to slowly get them out by just breaking away the rest of the material and dropping them in here i'll see you could do it however you want as long as obviously you get the seeds and that's all that matters but yes if i just move these out of the way as you can see i got quite a few seeds just from those five there's still more like I said in those pods but yeah so from all the seed pods that I have got on my just the three flowers up there um, it's definitely gonna, gonna give me loads of seeds so now I'm gonna sow some of these ones okay so now I've got everything set up to sow the seeds so obviously you're going to need a pot your flytrap seeds and pen and a label Obviously your mix, I'm doing a mix of peat and perlite, which I will just show. So this is the mix I've already prepared. So I've added a little bit of perlite because I'm just sowing seeds. It's not for, you know, the plants um, with a few scoops of peat. Just put that back there. And um, yeah, so first of all, I'm just going to take my pot. This is just a small eight centimetre pot and I'm going to fill it up with the mixture. Obviously I would probably um, show me actually pot putting the media into the pot but I don't have a tripod so it's a bit hard for me to navigate around like the angle that my phone's on at the moment to record this is basically placed on a load of pots um, because I prefer to spend money on plants rather than actually buy stuff to um, do stuff like this but that's basically how I prepared it um, so sorry I didn't get to see that but you know I guess it's just basic filling up the um, pot full of compost so now um, before you sow the seeds onto the compost you need to obviously um, moisten the soil so now I'm just going to water it I have now moistened the media and I'm going to just leave it soaking in the bottom here and now all you need to do is get see so these are the ones that I collected earlier and I am just going to sprinkle a few on my hand well I say a few that was practically most to all of them um, so I'll put a few back and I'm going to sew probably about that many minus the ones that just fell off my hand um, so I'm just basically going to pinch them, they're quite good seeds to hold, um, unlike Drosera which you can't really tell how many you're sowing. So I'd say I've got about 15 here and I'm just going to evenly spread them across the soil. So you can see these again unlike Drosera seeds which are basically like dust you can't really see where you're planting them 
but I can see them as I'm putting them down. Put some at the corner. Like that. So that is practically it. I don't know if you'll be able to see them. I will move the camera forward. So yeah, you can see just one on there, which are the shiny little black dots. And now the care for this afterwards is just going to be really easily. So keep them sitting in water. I'll put these on the dimly like, lit side of my greenhouse, which is lower so it doesn't get as much direct sun. So they like to be sitting in a bright position, make sure they're always wet. Some people provide humidity with them. I have never done that. Um, I've always found it's best if you just place them in a brightly lit area and just leave them. So I'm just going to write a label now um, for them. So you, it's best to date them as well, which I cannot remember the date today. The 7th of July. Um, and I'll just put a bit of fly trap. Then 7th. 2020. I'm just going to do a simple label like that for now and then in a few weeks time I would say they take about three weeks to a month I've always had my um, seeds to come up so this is last year's which I'll just quickly show you um, <clears throat> I sowed these on the 21st of February 2019 so they are very slow growing as you can see you don't get full grown fly traps within a couple of um, years it will take I don't know, about three to five years for a good, proper, mature fly trap. But, um, well, yeah, especially from seed. If you're doing vegetative propagation, then they get a lot bigger quickly. So all my vegetative propagation stuff is bigger than the seedlings, which are just over a year old. But as you can see, I've got some nice coloration on some of these seedlings. So they're getting their first, like, upright leaves. Got some, some green, smaller ones. But they've always remained this pot since sowing them, so they have not been transplanted yet. But they look quite nice. Um, so that's basically what you expect. And it will take about three weeks to a month. Maybe more. Just be patient with them. They're, especially if you've got fresh seeds. They should come up quite quickly. So I'm expecting these ones that I've just sown. To come up relatively quick. Because obviously I only harvested them like, a few minutes ago. So that's basically all there is to the process. So thank you very much for watching the video. And have a nice day.